I do not consider myself a good 3D modeler, and I especially do not consider myself a good retopologizer. And by that, I mean I am not good with the basic Blender retopology tools. I do know that there are well-known add-ons for Blender that you can get to help with retopology, like Retopo Flow. Those usually cost a lot of money. And I already brought Christmas presents for people, so I am basically broke. But what if I told you that there were hidden, free tools in Blender that'll make retopology much easier than the tools you are most likely already using? Well, you better believe me because it's true. We're going to go over two methods that will allow you to draw your topology in Blender. Okay, so here we got a head sculpt I made. It's pretty okay, and we'll get the point across for this video. Now, I'm assuming you already know the basics of good facial topology for animation. You gotta have those loops. What we're going to do is add a grease pencil object. This will be what this is what we're going to use to draw in Blender. When you draw in grease pencil, go up here and select surface. This will make the grease pencil draw on and around the surfaces it's closest to. So make sure all you have visible in the scene is the grease pencil object and the object you want to draw on. You should hide everything else while you're drawing. Now you can use a tablet like I am, or you can use a mouse. But neither one will get you a perfectly smooth result. So you want to enable smooth strokes for your strokes in the grease pencil tool panel. Adjust a few more settings and there you got smooth, well-defined lines. Now, for this first method, we're going to need to duplicate this first line inward in order to have two lines. That's what creates our loop. You can use Edit and Sculpt Mode to edit this drawing. You can bring it closer or farther from the mesh. For method 1, we're going to be using B surfaces to convert this grease pencil stroke into a mesh. A really handy tool to use to make this process and retopology in general easier is the Speed Retopo add-on. I know I said that all of the tools in this video that I would be using would already be in Blender, and that's still true. All Speed Retopo does is add a hub that brings all of these retopology tools that already exist in Blender in one place. And you can get it for completely free. Select your head mesh. Make sure B surfaces is selected. Select Start Retopo. Disable Auto Merge. Go to the Modifiers tab, put the Shrink Wrap modifier above the Mirror modifier. Adjust the Mirror Merge settings so it's more like the default Mirror modifier settings. Now go to Edit. Under B Surfaces, make sure you select the G Pencil you drew with. Click Add Surface. And likely with a few adjustments, you'll have your circle looping around the eyes. Now, this is pretty low poly, and that's good because it'll make your retopology process much simpler. What you always want for modeling is to keep it simple, and then add more geometry using the subsurface modifier. Add the subsurface modifier, and now your mesh ain't so low poly anymore. Now, we're going to move on to the mouth loops. Go back to the grease pencil. You'll see that it automatically deleted the lines that were already converted into the mesh. Draw a line around the mouth. Duplicate it inwards, go to B surfaces, and click Add a Surface. Now, this is where some of the problems with B surfaces comes in. It doesn't quite join everything correctly. So, make some manual adjustments. Delete some vertices and reconnect them, and there, you got more loops. But, this process may not be ideal. For example, Speed Retopo automatically enables snapping to faces, and that can cause some problems when moving geometry. So, you can disable that but there's still some problems when B surfaces converts grease pencil strokes to meshes. So method two, what if we could easily convert a grease pencil stroke to a mesh directly? Well, you can't, but you can convert a grease pencil to a path and then convert that to a mesh. If you go into edit mode and have select vertices on, you can see it has a lot of vertices. It's pretty not simple, so simplify it. Go to the Modifiers tab and add the Simplify modifier. Turn that up to about 4. Go back to Object Mode and make sure that you apply the Simplify modifier. Convert the Grease Pencil into a path. It'll add a path, but it is giving this path a lot of resolution. 
so reduce that resolution to about 1. Now you can convert this path into a mesh, and you have a mesh. Now with the beer surface method, you have to make sure you have those two lines. But with this method, you don't have to. You can draw two lines, fill them in, or you can just have one line and extrude it. And then you get your loop. Because we drew the grease pencil on and around the surface of our model, it already follows the 3D flow pretty well. But you can still add your shrink wrap modifier to make it more accurate. So do that along with your subsurface modifier. Now, we can just draw the other loops, simplify them, convert them to paths, convert those into meshes, and then just join them into one object with all these modifiers. Keep your topology low and consistent. Make all the main loops of the face, and then manually connect them. And that's it. That's how you draw your topology in Blender, using tools that are already in Blender and completely free. So you don't have to spend like $80 on Retopo Flow. I think this is pretty decent, and if I can make something decent, then I know that you can make something great. A few tips. You can use the smooth brush in sculpt mode to smooth out and relax your geometry. You can use other tools in sculpt mode to change your mesh too, like the grab brush or elastic to form. If you need to fill or connect different paths of your mesh, make sure they have even and consistent parts of geometry. If one part of the mesh is higher poly than another part of the mesh, and you want to connect them, you'll need to add more geometry to that lower poly part, and then you can connect them. Sometimes when joining meshes, you'll get these artifacts when you enable smoothing. This is a result of the normals not all facing the same way. To fix this, enable Face Orientation. Go into Edit Mode and select all the red faces. Go to Mesh, Normals, Flip Normals, and now everything should be blue. Turn off Face Orientations and you can see that those artifacts are all gone. Thanks for watching.